Welcome back. Technology earnings the focus this week. Tesla reporting its largest ever quarterly loss last night. One bright spot in that report was revenue. It was above expectations. Take a look at revenue at $2.95 billion. The company revealing it will no longer reach its goal of producing 5,000 Model 3 vehicles per week this year. The stock is sliding ahead of the open. We're looking at a 6% sell-off in Tesla. Joining us right now is Gabelli Multimedia Trust Portfolio Manager Larry Haverty. And Larry, it's good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Hi, Maria. Characterize what you've seen in in terms of uh, earnings so far in this space. And in particular, we had Facebook reporting third quarter earnings last night as well. The social media giant beat expectations, adjusted earnings per share of $1.59, revenue $10.3 billion. But they had a tough day yesterday. Facebook stock was down as much as 2% in the after hours trading. Following the comments from CFO David Weiner with uh, about the 218 operating expenses that they're going to rise between 45 and 60%. Give us your take on the earnings story and technology in particular. Well, I think it's uh, it's really pretty simple, uh, uh, Maria. If you take the global ad market, which is basically how Google and Facebook uh, eat, Facebook's almost exclusively an advertising revenue-driven uh, company. Uh, Google and Facebook are taking more than a hundred percent of the growth in the in the global ad market, and uh, basically uh, you you have to play with them. Facebook, uh, the ad revenues grew almost fifty percent. That's phenomenal in an industry that grows 5%. And the, the reason this happens is Facebook advertising works. Uh, Cheryl always has these cute little anecdotes about companies that have benefited from uh, uh, Facebook advertising. And uh, I, I think uh, she's really on point here. Uh, so the, the question becomes how much you pay for it and then how they're going to spend the money. Now, the market uh, generally doesn't like uh, um, uh, margin compression, as you know. Uh, except if you're Netflix or Amazon, which play by uh, by different rules. Uh, and in this case, uh, Zuckerberg uh, and David said, uh, we're going to have margin compression. And the reason is to uh, invest in security, making the, uh, the communities more secure. Uh, now, what the market, I think, is missing is this is a one-off. They're going to add, I think, over 10,000 people. They're going to escalate their expenses. But it's a one-time proposition, so that when you go into 2019, uh, you're not going to see the step up in expenses. Uh, if you looked at the quarter, uh, the EBITDA grew well over 50 percent, and uh, I think uh, there'll be some uh, compression. EBITDA will grow less than sales next year, yeah. but I can't see sales growing less than 40 percent. Uh, and uh, you get very, very few, if any, companies this size that are growing this rapidly, and the growth is very high quality. They're generating mountains of free cash flow. Uh, our valuation uh, process tells us it's reasonable, so uh, we're all signals go on Facebook, although I wouldn't be surprised if it uh, declines a little bit in the next couple of days. Mm. Oh, Larry, uh, James Freeman and, here. Uh, the, the, yeah. Hey, yeah, uh, just real quick, uh, Tesla, the... Um, uh, Obviously, it's not a new story, them failing to meet production targets, but uh, is there a point where you see them not needing the tax benefits, the tax credit? And could this be a real business anytime soon that doesn't rely on tax preferences? Well, it, Tesla's not in, not in my wheelhouse, but uh, suffice it to say that uh, I wouldn't go a, uh, near it with a 10-foot pole. Uh, I, I just like companies that generate free cash flow. Uh, I think... Uh, uh, this is an auto company. It's going to have competition. Uh, there's pro problems with manufacturing. I mean, how many red flags do you uh, need here? Yeah. And uh, once the market figures these things out, mm. it's kind of like my friend, the uh, coyote in the Roadrunner movies. Uh, there's a cliff and uh, off you go. <laughs> and I think uh, I think we're here. The uh, the bloom is off the rose, if you will. Interesting analysis, Larry. And I think you make a really good point about tech. Yeah, the cash flow, the earnings are there for sure. But you wonder if the regulatory environment is going to change on these guys after that uh, hearing yesterday uh, we'll be watching well, that yeah real quick Larry I'm in the, um, the middle of reading Franklin Fowler's book on this uh, Maria it's a big risk uh, mm. Washington doesn't improve multiples right and I'm worried about that Larry we'll see you soon thanks so much Larry thanks a lot, Mary. There.